From macabre displays of gore that strike fear into all who pass, to mysterious silhouettes spied hanging from tall trees after dark, how can we ever truly be sure the terrifying scenes we witness through the month of October are just decorations and not actually something more authentic? Are you prepared for five real dead bodies mistaken for Halloween props? Number 5. Corpse on the Steps on the morning of November 2nd of 2012, 46-year-old Dale Porch, who'd just returned from a graveyard shift, collapsed on the front steps of his Denver home. Later in the morning, his mailman would pass by and would even note a figure slumped over, but thinking it a leftover Halloween decoration would continue along his route. Tragically, it wasn't until noon that Dale's son would discover his father's body, and while resuscitation efforts were administered, it's thought now that the man had been too long past. Number 4. The Bloody Balcony Sometime through early October of 2009, residents of a Marina Del Rey apartment complex off Bora Bora Way would hear a strange popping noise in the middle of the night, though they would quickly forget it, and on the 12th, they would note one neighbor's grisly Halloween decoration, the dummy of a bloodied human body slumped over in a balcony chair that was set to look as if it was staring at those passing. It wasn't until three days following on the 15th that passerby became concerned and eventually decided to force their way into the residence, only to find the body of 75-year-old Mustafa Mahmoud Zayed with a gun in one hand and a suicide note near. Number 3. The Accidental Prop on October 20th of 2001, 14-year-old Caleb Reb of Sparta Township was working at a local horse farm that offered Halloween-themed hayrides. Although all positions on the night of the 20th had been filled, Caleb decided to stay and helped out with the attraction's many scenes. While he started the evening by laying in a coffin display, he would later trade positions with a worker who was stationed with a skeleton hanging from a noose. In attempts at adding more scare to the haunt, Caleb pulled the skeleton down, stretched the noose, and put his own head through the loop, but the tree it was hanging from pulled taut, resulting in the unsuspecting teen's airway being severely restricted. The most disturbing part about this horrific ordeal was that his death was drawn out, and while everyone initially reacted to the scene in shock, they assumed it was simply good acting, until Caleb's body went limp, after which, sadly, all attempts at resuscitation failed. Number 2. The Swinging Woman at around 7.30 in the morning on October 26th of 2005, and right along a busy stretch of road in Frederica, Delaware, early risers noted a particularly horrifying Halloween decoration, that of a lifelike body hanged about 15 feet from the ground, the realism of which disturbed passing children and concerned neighbors. After numerous alarming calls, the authorities had no choice but to send a car out, which simply resulted in the responding unit declaring the scene nothing more than a clever prop. Later in the morning, however, a passing mother, accompanied by her child and compelled by a bad feeling in her gut, would call her husband, who was a firefighter, and would insist he came and take a look for himself. Upon his arrival, the firefighter called his team for a second opinion. At 11 a.m., a second call was placed to authorities, advising that they should send someone back out, and it was finally determined the hanging was not a prop but genuine, and that the 42-year-old victim had, the previous night, climbed into the tree and dropped herself from right above where she was found swinging. Number 1. The Funhouse Mummy the arm of an old funhouse prop mummy was broken off from its main body and, chilling to all present, actual human bone, muscle, and tissue was discovered within. While this sounds like a line from a good urban legend, and it probably is, these events actually transpired in December of 1976 at the funhouse out of Pike Amusement Zone in Long Beach, California. Following this morbid discovery, a slew of tests and investigations were performed and traced the remains back to one Elmer J. McCurdy, an American bank and train robber, who was killed in a shootout with police after robbing a Katy train in Oklahoma in October of 1911. McCurdy's body was housed by local undertaker Joseph L. Johnson, who would preserve it and who would set it on display, dubbing him the bandit who wouldn't give up. In 1916, McCurdy's body would be acquired as part of the Great Patterson Carnival Show, after which it would travel far and wide and would later be utilized in a traveling museum of crime, which featured wax statues of infamous outlaws. By 1933, the old body had fully mummified. In 1949, it was placed in storage in a Los Angeles warehouse. And in 1967, it would even make a brief appearance in David F. Friedman's film, She Freak. 
With his history long forgotten, McCurdy's remains would change hands as an unsuspecting prop numerous times, and in 1976 would end up at Pike Amusement Zone. In 1977, McCurdy would finally be properly laid to rest, and to ensure he would never be disturbed again, was sealed beneath two feet of solid concrete. Thanks for joining us for this list of five real dead bodies mistaken as Halloween props. If these stories chilled you, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on. Throw us a like and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. We'll see you next time.